today's video, we're going to be looking at the things you'll need to be ready for your new French Bulldog puppy. Welcome back to the French Bulldog channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the French Bulldog. Then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect Frenchies. So if you're a lifelong French Bulldog lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new French Bulldog, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future French Bulldog video. So let's get into today's video where we will be exploring what it is that you'll need to get ready for your new French Bulldog dog puppy. Similar to when you have a new baby on the way, you have to be prepared for your new puppy and there are a lot of things you'll need to be properly prepared for the new arrival. You'll want toys to help distract them from biting the table legs, a crate to give them a secure place to sleep, the list can be seemingly endless. Research the type of breed you'll be getting to best prepare you and your home. Maybe you'll need a stair gate to prevent them wandering up the stairs, maybe you'll need to find a new way to store your shoes to stop them gaining teeth marks. You'll have to be prepared for all and any outcomes. Puppies are endlessly curious and will want to go exploring. It's up to you as the owner to make sure they're safe whatever they're doing. Today we'll be focusing on the French Bulldog breed and what you'll need to be fully prepared for them. There's a fairly long list of essentials that you'll need for your Frenchy pup. I'll list them and why they're important to have before the puppy gets home. Bedding. While it's important to get them the softest, fluffiest blankets, be sure to get a blanket from the breeder that has the scent of their litter mates on it. This will help keep them calm and feel comforted. A crate is your puppy's safe space and you'll be able to buy just one. No need to up the size along with the growth of your Frenchie. A typical medium sized crate will be more than enough space for an adult Frenchie. Just be sure to make it super cozy while they're still small so they still feel safe. Food and water bowls, this goes without saying really. You can buy whichever you fancy. Feel free to buy smaller ones when they're little and get bigger ones as they grow but this isn't really a necessity. Food. You'll want to ask the puppy breeder what puppy food they've been giving your puppy so that you can slowly wean them off it at home onto the puppy food that you've decided to buy. Puppy friendly treats are also a great way to get them introduced to training at a young age. A few toys to chew on and rag around will be a great way to bond with your Frenchie pup and it'll help reduce them chewing you or the furniture with those razor sharp teeth. But don't buy any hard toys just yet because although sharp, their teeth are still delicate. Lead and collar. You may need to buy a cat collar for your brand new eight week old Frenchie and buy bigger ones as they grow, but be sure to have them wearing one regardless. Collar tags, this is very important and it's important what information you put on them. It's not recommended to put their names on the tag as this makes them easier to handle if they've been stolen. Which isn't nice to say, but it is important. The best thing to put is your surname and an appropriate contact number. Grooming tools. While a Frenchie has a low maintenance coat, still buy a suitable brush to brush their coat. Q-tips and dog friendly wipes and balm will be needed to keep their face wrinkles clean to prevent any sores from developing. It's good to get them used to this from a young age. This can seem like an overwhelming amount of stuff to get before the big arrival, but they're all as important as each other. And if you're really not sure if you have everything, a good breeder will be able to help you. They will have helped a lot of puppies get to their new homes and they will want that transition to be as smooth as possible for both you and your new Frenchie. Do your research, ask those around you that have had puppies before, check to see if the breed has any specific requirements, but all in all, the list I've provided will cover your basic requirements. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below, and don't forget, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe, as we have two dedicated French Bulldog videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the French Bulldog channel.